Have you ever played in one of those games where it has you reacting like this? Fucking hell, lads. Come on, like. Because this was one of those games. And to give you a bit of context, in my last video, we played in a cup semi-final against a team that was in the division above us. And in this video, for this game, it's the exact same thing. And to make it that bit more interesting, the team we're up against in this video, not only are they in the division above us, but they're also top of the table on an unbeaten run after seven games. So going into this game, we know it's probably going to be one of our toughest challenge yet and as the rev blows the whistle to indicate kickoff for the first five or ten minutes the game kind of starts off relatively slow but right on the 10 minute mark we instantly see how the next 90 minutes will go with the opposition having a free kick on the edge of the box this happens Away! Now, don't get me wrong. When this actually happened, I thought it was a corner initially. But the referee actually called for a goal kick. And personally, in all my life playing football, I have never seen a referee change his mind. But I guess today was that day. And it kind of had me thinking. All it took was two or three players to scream at the ref that he made the wrong decision. And he quickly changed his mind. So, how is the rest of the game going to go? And the next couple of clips will show you exactly how it'll go. You'll quickly come to realize the opposition's main point of attack they pass it out to their winger who takes one or two touches down the line at a rapid pace and then whips the ball into the box and not only did they do this once in the first half they did it again and again yes, and again. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Away! Almost scoring each time. And remember this for later on in the video because, like I said, it is their main point of attack. And as we were coming close towards the end of the first half, I was thinking as long as we can hold out and don't concede within the first half, it should give a massive boost to our players going into the second half. And right on the 45 minute mark, this happened. Personally, I have absolutely no idea how this ref didn't call it free. Just by watching it back here and slowing it down, you can literally see the attacker look at the ball and look at me twice before backing into me. It's not as if he was looking at the ball the whole time and not knowing where I was. From looking back at it like this, it looks like it was completely intentional. And for the ref to be right in front of that and not even see it is a bit mind-blowing to me, to be honest. And yeah, even though I am a goalkeeper myself, I know there is that whole protecting the goalkeeper type of stigma that a lot of refs have and don't get me wrong i do think some decisions that are made are completely ridiculous and shouldn't be freeze but for this case to back into me like that and knock me to the ground uh, i don't know about that one man And as the ref blows the whistle for half time, I was kind of both happy and frustrated at the same time. Happy, of course, to be finishing the half without conceding a goal against a top opponent, but frustrated with some decisions unfairly going against us. But since it is half time, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to tell you that as of right now, 96.1% of you guys watching this video are not subscribed. So if you have come this far in the video and you are enjoying it so far, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and maybe even give it a little like and comment what you think of the video as well. Starting off into the second half, it was a lot more positive from my point of view. It managed to play a pretty good ball through our line of defense, but I was on my toes and ready to sweep out and claim the ball before the attacker got there. But straight after this, we begin the second half just how we ended the first. So you'd think that the referee just called for our side and brought it back for a free for us. Because that's what everyone else was thinking on the pitch at this time. Why 
So apparently somehow he called a free for them when it was an offside. Called it back for them to take it. They took the free, called it back for them to retake it, and they retook it. And then he decided to call offside. What? So remember how I said at the start of the video, how their main point of attack was passing the ball out to the wing and then whipping the ball into the box. So we kind of talked about that at half time. And I kind of decided at the start of the second half to play a bit more higher up, kind of to play a bit as a sweeper keeper for the first 15 or 20 minutes. And honestly, it felt like it just did nothing to them because they just kept coming through with the exact same type of attacking play and it felt like we could just do nothing against it. And obviously, going from defending all these different attacks, it just felt like we were getting bombarded with corner kicks upon corner kicks upon corner kicks. Away! Yes! Close, close, come on, come on out! Stand! And of course, the ref had to let everyone know who's in charge and felt the need to come towards me and say this. Get out! 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 And as the opposition just kept getting closer and closer to getting their goal, they finally managed to get their breakthrough with a very fitting, controversial first goal of the game. Now, I'm not going to be the one to say that this was onside or offside. Fucking my love. But one thing looking back on the video that I definitely think what we shouldn't have done is if you go back to the point where everybody put their hand up to call offside, each and every single one of our defenders just stopped and just presumed the ref would call offside when he just didn't. And we got punished for that. To concede a goal like that in the 80th minute after holding off this long with all their attacks with 10 minutes left, it was heartbreaking. And what happened in the next 10 minutes did not make it any easier. Hell, boys. Oh, fucking hell, lads. Come on, like. Come on, like. To go.
go from holding off a nil all game into the 80th minute mark and then in the last 10 minutes of the game to concede three goals it was definitely a punch in the gut we definitely didn't deserve to win considering the fact that we had probably one or two chances on goal i personally don't think the game was a three nil game maybe a one nil game but i feel like our team just ran out of steam towards the end and obviously that's what makes the difference between playing in the premier division and in the first At the end of the day, you can't win them all. It obviously wasn't the result that we wanted to see, but you can't really let it get us down. And all we got to do now is just pick our heads up and move on to the next one.